our pick as an entire show is ballotpedia.org. Uh, please go go check out whatever you have gotten in your sample ballots, or if you happen to have the advanced mail-in, you know, so that you can do an absentee uh, at your leisure, which really I highly recommend at this point. Um, just do it. Why not? What's the worst that happens? They're going to lose the entire box of them? Maybe. But they might lose the same ones that go in. Voter fraud is something that uh, that we're just going to have to um, have to accept as something that's beyond our, our immediate control. So what is in your control is which bubbles you fill in and making sure that you fill in the bubbles and send them in. So please go ahead and do that. Uh, check out ballotpedia.org for all of your all of your uh, your your candidate needs vet vet them see what you think and uh, and vote your conscience I think that's the best thing I can tell anybody and of course that's November 8th November 8th that's that's your deadline okay yeah maybe uh you know you still got a couple weeks here maybe you can put it in as a day off. Make it a make it a personal holiday. I think that. Would and be a hey, good thing. you know, maybe start talking to your uh, your local senators, your you know your actual representatives, your senators, everything else, and say, hey, why don't we look about making the election day a national holiday, like it that is in be, other countries? That would be a grand thing. You know, increasing the franchise. Yes. And I see that you have a pick here, and it is the most recent Deadpool comic, I believe. It is, and I love Deadpool. My friend Dan actually introduced me more to Deadpool. I, I enjoy the character, but this issue, which at least, and I put a link in the show notes for it. You guys can read it online. I'm going to go out there and buy this issue if I can find it. I highly suggest everybody else go out there and buy this issue because it, it's about an issue that hits close to home for me, and the greatest thing is, in a way, as funny as I can say this, he deals with it realistically. <laughs> yep. And in fact, essentially what happens is Deadpool finds a girl who's considering committing suicide by jumping off a building. And Deadpool, being Deadpool, says, you know, why are you doing this off of my building? Go down to Parker Industries. It's better to do it down there. And then essentially takes her on this short adventure. Mm-hmm. And, you know, is throwing out lines, is throwing out things to say everything else, but he's not the Deadpool being Deadpool, Wade being Wade, is not the standard superhero who is the great goody two shoes says three things, and suddenly it changes your life, and you suddenly realize you need help, and everything's good. He does things his way. <laughs> and, like everybody else, like any normal person, isn't necessarily saying the greatest things in the world, isn't necessarily saying... That thing which will make you change your mind at that instant. But, you know, through just in a way caring, eventually, you know, makes some phone calls, everything else, and at the very end, takes this woman, takes her to the ER, and says, you know, where they have, it's basically a hospital, says, here's, here's where you get off. And it's like, I'm not going to, you know, I'll walk in there with you if you need me to. Yeah. You can choose to do what you want to do from here, but you know, you know. I know his most important thing is him going. I know I can't help you, but yeah. there are people in there who can. And it's I probably I the say, most superhero thing that he's ever done. He's done some superhero things. This is for me. This is close to home because I have lost friends and family yeah. members to suicide, and you know. It's one of those things of I wish there had been somebody like this, as yeah. bad as he is. You're you're making jokes? I was bitten by a sad radioactive clown. Get off! <laughs> yeah, again, it's, I love Deadpool, his yeah. way of handling things, but the, the important thing is the writers in this actually did it going, no, we're going to handle this, you know, even for Wade, in a, in a somewhat that. realistic fashion. Again, as he even says, the, you don't figure out the great lines until you're walking away. Yeah. After he's already dropped her off. I was like, now I've got the stuff to say. You know, again, that line he says right there, if you scroll up a little bit for a few people who ever watched this, yeah. not, not quite that hard. The, you know, I'm sure a real hero would have something profound to say to make you feel better instantly, but 
I'm all you've got. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is. So, so go yeah. out there, check out this thing, read it. I, I loved it. It touched me deeply, which I'm sure Wade would love to hear. Oh, yes, um, he would. Mm -hmm. But it's... I want to buy this and keep it just in case. If I have somebody who's having problems with everything else, I want to hand them this and go read this. You know, and it's also a thing for anybody else out there. You know, you see somebody who might be suffering, who might be having problems, get help. Yeah. However... You need to. You know, don't assume you can handle it. You know, don't assume you can be this great hero to sweep in and solve all their problems. No. There are people for that. There are people that can do that a lot better than you. Yeah. I'm Deadpool. What's your... Don't. Don't what? Don't pretend to care. You're being presumptuous. I don't care yet. You're making it awfully hard for me to get my care on. Is it a boy? A girl? Money? Did you marry a succubus and she might ruin your life? <laughs> I love Deadpool so <laughs> much. <laughs> Are you trying to make me jump? No, never! Though I've been told I can make people very uncomfortable. <laughs> As he says with half his mask taken off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deadpool number 20. Yep. Should be currently out on shelves. If not... Go find it somewhere. Yep. It's, highly recommend. It's, I need... People need this in their lives. Yeah, I, I think I've read through this like three, four times today. It's just... It's really good. Yeah. It really is. Very touching. And, um, you know, it's thought-provoking. And that's what, uh, that's what literature should be. And comics are slowly... Okay, not Pinky. so slow. Not so slow. Picking it up again. Yeah, they're, they're really kicking it up a notch. And that's wonderful. So with that, I think uh, I think we've done it, sir. I do think so. This this here is the end of another another lovely show. So let's see here. What do I have? Oh yes, the end credits. Okay, so that's it for tonight. We'll be back next Friday about 9:30 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, uh, how about we continue this conversation on the website? Head over to OreillyRadio.com. That's O-R-L-Y-R-E-D-I-O.com for all the links right at the top of the page. And you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and, of course, the Twitch channel, too, so you can watch us live. Um, you can watch us live every Friday and uh, join in the, in the chat like Mama Van. Thank you so much for everything you contributed, Mama Van. Uh, you were definitely our third host tonight so thank you very much if you've stayed with us all the way through the credits how about you give us a hand if you had a few dollars to spare you can contribute to the patreon to get early access to the show releases and we'll even get you some special perks now and again uh, how about you just follow the patreon link on the webpage or go over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash o'reilly radio you can also make a one-time donation if that's your jam uh, via the donate button uh, if you can't fit us into your rainy day funds uh, do us a solid and share the show. Leave us a review, positive review, review especially out on uh, iTunes because that's where everybody goes for all their podcasts. Um, so we're always looking for new ideas for the show too. So uh, how about you share what's on your mind and shoot a note over to us at overlyradiopodcast at gmail.com. Or if you're the more talkative sort, we do have that voicemail line, 470-222-6759. That's really if you actually you know, follow the letters and everything. It's always ready to take your call or your text. Standard messaging rates will apply. Can't thank you enough for spending some time with us. Until next time, this has been O'Reilly Radio, part of the Kevin Services Network. Music for the show is created by Kevin McLeod of EncompTech.com. Thank you, Stephen Griffin, for being with us. And thank you, Mama Van, for being in the chat room again. And we hope to see you all real soon. Bye, everybody. That's it. It's in the can. I'm stopping the broadcast. That's it. No more show for you. Later, people. Good. I, I, I'm not glad because you were break. At least to my audio, you were breaking up horrifically during that outro. Uh, I think it was well, trying to throw the music and stuff in for me, but it was like it might have been. The problem with my job. I'm also looking at my keyboard, going, "Where's my speaker breaking up button? Where, where is that button? I want to hit that button." <laughs> you have a speaker breaking up button. That's that's speaker funny. unclear. Speaker breaking up. Spelling. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Pfft, screw that. Okay. All right. Thanks, Steven. See you next week. Yeah, probably see you on, online as well. Just throwing them crap at each other. Of course, because that's, that's what we do. <laughs>
I, I'll, right. I'll probably I'll, I'll tell you more about my oh my god reactions to the book so <laughs> excellent excellent uh, we're, we're having our own little book club for those of you that are still listening uh, we are currently reading the last of Peter F. Hamilton's uh, uh, Commonwealth series which started currently with, yeah. last I don't think I I don't think there's another one after this I think that's it for the series I think it's it um we started off with Judas Unchained, no, Pandora Star, then Judas yep. Unchained, then there's the Void Trilogy, um, and then there's the Faller uh, Duology, uh, and the latest one now is the second part of that, which is uh, A Night Without Stars. So it is out on auto audiobook, which is how we're enjoying them, and uh, the narrator John Lee is fantastic. So, mm -hmm. uh, highly recommend. And if you have anything to say about it, please send us an email at a really radio podcast at gmail.com and we'll get a little, little sidebar discussion going, or you could, uh, you could go ahead and private message us on the Facebook page too. So that'd be fun. All right. Well, with that, we'll catch you later. Bye everybody. <laughs>